Hey there boxing fans, Chris Chapman here with another installment of Matthias on Boxing. Hit like, hit subscribe and get the conversation started in the comments. Today we're going to discuss the European Super Lightweight Championship between Spain's Sandor Martin and the UK's English champion Kay Prosper. The contest is taking place on Friday the 23rd of April and is being shown on the zone around the world and is taking place in Sandor Martin, the champion's hometown, Barcelona, Spain. Starting with the European super lightweight champion, Sandor Martin. He comes into the contest at 27 years of age. He stands 5 foot 7 and has a 69 inch reach. He fights at Southpaw stance and has a, a very impressive record of 37 wins, 2 defeats, 13 wins by way of knockout, and he made his professional debut in 2011. So the challenger, the English super lightweight champion, Kay Prosper, comes into the contest aged 36. He holds the height advantage, standing 5 foot 10, and he also has a 71 inch reach, so he slightly has a longer reach than the champion. He fights in the orthodox stance and has a record of 14 wins, 1 defeat, one draw, seven wins by way of knockout. So this European Championship contest between Sandor Martin and uh, K Prosper heads up a night of action in Barcelona, Spain, which is the champion's hometown. Uh, so K Prosper does have a lot to do if he is going to come away as European champion here. To be honest, to see K Prosper leave uh, Barcelona as the European champion, you are looking at a rather big ask and a big upset there. But this is boxing and stranger things have happened. However, Sandor Martin would like to uh, ensure that there won't be any of those strange happenings in this contest. I mean, this contest is there for him to win and look good doing so. He's fighting an older opponent with less experience at championship level. I mean, K Prosper is the English champion at the weight, uh, but English title fights are only four over 10 rounds, just as an example and a difference there. Sandor Martin has a ton more professional experience in there. Now, the little chinks in his armour, which will give K Prosper uh, some hope, uh, he is not the biggest puncher. K Prosper will hope that his, in his increased height and reach will be able to play a part and he will hope to keep him at the end of his longer jab however i don't see sandal martin being able to be deterred in his hometown uh by k prosper because k prosper himself is not the biggest puncher either i feel the contest will go the distance i feel sandal martin will ride out a clear and fair unanimous decision winner uh, I expect the contest to be very cagey and I also expect Sandor Martin's superior footwork, the ability to get in and out as he showed against Andrea Scarpa to win the title and in a title defence against Joe Hughes, Britain's Joe Hughes. I think he will show the same variety and footwork against Kay Prosper. I do expect Kay Prosper to try and uh, take this early because I believe he will know he needs to surprise the champion. But I don't think, unfortunately for us in, in the UK, and unfortunately for K Prosper himself, I do not see any shocks in this one. And I believe, as I've said, Sandor Martin rides out a clear, unanimous decision winner. Thank you for listening. Remember, if you disagree, that's great. Let me know in the comments. If you agree, that's also cool. Let me know in the comments. This has been Chris Chapman for Matthias on Boxing.